So can the German number one succeed where the German number two, Martin Schindler, failed earlier on this evening? And book his place in the second round tomorrow. It's Dimitri Vandenberg, the Belgian, who awaits the winner of this one. Or can Adam Hunt join his mate Chris Doby in the second round? Mark Webb says alongside me to find out the answer to that question. Yeah, Adam Hunt, who his tall card is under threat, and that's because he had his best spell really two years ago. And it was because of a victory against Gabriel Clemens in a Grand Slam group that got him through along with Michael Van Gerwen, and then he went on to have a good run at the Worlds. But He's provisionally 74 in the world, Adam Hunt, and he's got a lot of work to do to make it to the World Championship. It's a big end to the year for Adam, and it's a big ass, but the victory here is going to do his home no harm at all. Yeah, that's a strong start from Gabriel Clemens, though, in this opening leg. 59, Gabriel required for a 12 dart leg. Another player, Gabriel Clemens, who feels should do better. Got a nice throw and can produce, like you said, some big averages. Just seems to fault at the key times. But pretty much assured of his spot in the European Championship final. Not yet confirmed. Could be confirmed in about 20, 25 minutes' time with victory here. But he's pretty much there anyway. Yeah, you, you think that he's safe. Mind you, you thought Adam he was going to win this leg, and that hasn't happened just yet. Yeah, I've got a little bit of encouragement to Adam here. Adam Hunt in the race for the World Championship is on less than five times. 131. It's incredible. Clement stuttering here, though. Five. Adam, you require Big opportunities missed for Gabriel here, and Clem. Adam to steal, and does, break a throw, Hunt's off and running. Just back to that, £4,750 Adam Hunt is on for the race for the World Championship, Dan. Shocking, really, for a player of his standard. Well, you, you mentioned that Grand Slam run a couple of years ago, and he followed that up by winning a couple of games at the World Championship. Big Jamie Hughes yeah. and Lisa Rashford, a good draw, lost to Dirk, didn't he, eventually? And he, he said at the time, I feel like, I feel like I've taken 100. a step forward, I feel like this is it I've, I've got you know I've, he's been around for a long while Adam Hunt great youth record in the PDC in the youth tour 66 but kept struggling at Q school not quite not struggling just not getting his card often he was missing out by very narrow margins but then he, he got 95. himself on the tour but he, it wasn't really working out for him wasn't making an impact but it felt like that was a breakthrough but as soon as that world championship was over Whoa! Nothing else materialised. Just couldn't build on it. That's what he can do there. How nonchalant was that 180? Certainly got the game out of it. I mean, I'm well, smacked by the amount of prize money for this year because it feels like we're criticising, but there's a company he should do better. Yeah, I, I, that's the thing. You think he should be getting more success than he's been getting because he is a talented man. I sat and had food with him last night, him and Chris Dobin. He said, look, he's, he's kind of resigned that he's probably going to queue school, but he backed himself to get a car, but if he can go there with some sort of form, who knows? Eighty-seven. Oh, really cool. Clemens, the level up, deserves to be leveled, to be fair. And his level, better leg, leg. straight back. Yeah, I mean, he's not in, in the most dire straits. Yes, a lot of, some things need to happen for Adam Hunt, but win through the qualifier for the Worlds and win a game or two, and that's that's probably going to be One enough. He's got through the qualifiers for the Worlds before. Hasn't yes, he? he has. I mean, pinning all your hopes on that qualifier, obviously it's a huge risk because they are... It, it's a brutal... 59. But from what we've seen from Adam Hunt... There's no reason why he couldn't do that. That might be his route. Clemens has bounced back well. He's playing well, Gabriel Clemens. We said he had a ridiculous average in losing to Martin Lutman. 97. In the Euro Tour last month. He's averaging similar again here. Sixteen. Had a good run at the Worlds a few years ago, Gabriel Clemens. He they throw Peter Wright. Got involved in a real mess of a game with Christoph Pitarski there. 
there was matched arts galore going begging and eventually Christoph got over the line but you felt like that was a bit of a missed opportunity. 105. He played Bunting around after as well. Yeah, that was a year Stephen Bunting went on to reach the semi-finals. Had a great game with Gary Price, of course. He led 3-1, I think, in sets, didn't he? And eventually lost 6-3. Some plus checkouts all over the place. But it's a 25 checkout for the German giant to put him into the lead for the first time in this one. Back-to-back -back legs of 13 and 14 darts. 41. After stealing that first leg, Adam Hearn hasn't really made hay, and Clemens One is just looking Hunter super confident out there, and really, I think he's in a good space, and maybe he's just lifted a bit of pressure, that run on the Euro Tour the other week. We talked about him not making the final day earlier on in the year, and that was... Final session, sorry. Well, I mean, it, it was final day problems for him until this year. A bit like Dimitri Vandenberg. Yeah. Didn't matter what success they had elsewhere. On the Euro Tour, last 32 was all they ever did, over and over and over again. Then they managed to break through to the last 16. Then they managed to break through to the quarterfinals. Dimitri has gone further than that, of course. But sometimes it does take a little while to batter that door down. But I tell you what, when you've got a battering ram like Gabriel Clemens scoring power, you kind of think it's going to be inevitable. And this is something, the 180s haven't really been there this year for him. You mentioned Dimitri Vandenberg, that's who awaits the winner. And it's looking like it's going to be this man. This is some display from Gabriel Clemens. He surrendered the first leg, but since then... He's doing a real job on Adam Hunt and, and at the minute he's got no answers. 22 points difference in the averages. Almost. Look at the first nine as well. Yeah, I mean, they are, they are numbers. And we might already be more than halfway through this match. Fifty-eight. Ninety-nine. Martin Schindler losing out there to Vincent van der Boer. Another player who's probably got to go back to the drawing board, Max Hopp. Mm. He's uh, really regressed the last few years. Got a lot of pressure on his shoulders, but it's looking like he's going to lose his tour card. But pretty much inevitable. Still the only German player to win senior PDC events in ranking titles. Gabriel Clemens has made a number of finals, including some this year, of course. He had matched out in one of them in Milton Keynes, his first one against Gary Anderson. He should have won that one, and who knows what that might have done for him. Because he was nowhere near matched arts in his most recent one, got ironed out 8-0. 90. But he's looking good here. Yeah. Just looks really confident. It's like he's got belief in every dart he throws here. And Adam Hunt has got no answer. 82. Gabriel requires 71. The German number one for a 4 1 lead. That's six. So is it 25 he's looking at? I don't think. He, well, I thought he was going to ignore it because Adam's left the bogey 159. So just set her. 39. It's okay. Hunt's left this twice in the match now. The other one's off the back of a 180, so. Don't criticise him too much for that, but. 59. Looking on the squad. Game shot is mid there. Two legs away from completing our last 16 lineup. And a match. Six legs, Gavin, Burger. Game off. A good response after the disappointment of being knocked out first round to Danny Knopper last week. 48. In the Grand Prix, Clemens. Eighty-five. Well, the second round lineup includes all the seeded players who are entering the fray. Full hand Luke Humphreys up against Kenny Nayans, who will have to really step it up to have any impact on that game because it wasn't the greatest.
greatest viewing, despite a 6-1 win over Sean Negret in his game. Dave Chisnell versus Wesley Plaisier. That is a game. I think Wesley's a dangerous competitor, and he could, by winning that, force his way into the European Championship. Massive game for the Dutchman. Ryan Searle has not been anywhere near the levels 60. he's shown in the last couple of years for a few months now. And Willie O'Connor's Euro Tour finalist, those two go head to head with the winner facing either Craig Galliano, the sole Gibraltar Hope left, 59. or Peter Snakebite Wright, the world number one. Michael Smith, Josh Rock, we've already picked out as perhaps the game of the day. Johnny Clayton and Stephen Bunting in the same section of the draw 60. with Rob Cross against Rusty Jake Rodriguez and Danny Noppert versus Ryan Joyce. That's the top half of the draw. Loads of interesting stuff there. Take you through the bottom half in the next leg of this Gavin one. Because Gabriel could go 5-1 up here. Yeah, I'm sure Roby John take this out earlier on. Ooh. I find the second treble, so I'm going to see it again. But 100. Big ask Adam Hunt here. 105, just for a hold. Needs to find a treble. Can't find one. And he knows it hasn't happened from here. He hasn't 53. had a darting double since the first Gavin leg. 56. Just like Sulevich in the last match, Adam is 100% on doubles. Game from the doesn't reflect the scoreline. This really clinical leg, and Gabriel looking like it's job done. Clemens, one leg off. away from a match with Dimitri Vandenberg in the last 32 here in Gibraltar. Yeah, Dimitri Vandenberg 96. awaiting the winner of this with Gerwin Price and Mensor Sulevich. Interesting section of the draw, that. And in the same quarter, you've got Damon Hetter versus Chris Doby and Joe Cullen versus Richie Edhouse. I can tell you, if the seeded players win that, I'm sure Joe Cullen will be feeling better about the prospect of facing Damon Hetter than Damon Hetter will be about facing Joe Cullen. <laughs> Damon was getting sick of playing Joe Cullen, didn't he? Yes. Well beaten in the match play. It was a good game at the Grand Prix. He's lost him in a final of the Pro Tour as well. But Hetter has an assignment to get through first. Yes, that's true. And we saw Chris Doby sweep Dylan Duo Jr. aside 6-1 earlier. 99. And the other quarter in that section of the draw, Michael Van Gerwen versus Steve Beaton, who received a bye today with the unfortunate withdrawal of Justin Hewitt, who woke up not feeling very well. Jose de Souza against Roby John Rodriguez. Nathan Aspinall against Vincent van der Voort, who may well have done enough to get to the European Championship, but it's not 100% done. And Gavin then Jason Lowe struggled a bit against Manuel Valerio against Dirk van Dijvenbode, a man who I will continue to predict will win a stage tournament in the PDC until he does win one, because he certainly looks like. Adam, you require 79. Adam Hunt, just to stop the rot, it would be a break as well. Tops to stay alive, Game and he stayed alive, and he's still 100% on the doubles. <laughs> see many players nowadays using the darts that Adam Hunt's got, the sort of Dennis Priestley sort of players that have got there. Uh, I can't think of another player who has those darts that have got there. I can't think of another player who has those darts that have got there.
Smith. He's playing a lot of darts. He had a but how much more darts will Adam Hunt be playing this weekend? Not much if Gabriel takes this out. And he will get a match dart. The target is double top. And the German giant misses. This is tie. And this is at the point where Clemens might start to think about it. It's going to be one dart. Is it a ball? Oh, Adam. And that will more than likely be his last dart here in Gibraltar because it's three more for Gabriel Clemens. Doesn't need another invite. Gabriel Clemens wins it by six legs to two. It's a 97 average from the German number one. It may not be the tongue-topping stuff we've seen a couple of times from him recently, but he really does look like he's in good form. Is Gabriel Clemens and Dimitri Vandenberg might have his work cut out for him in the second round tomorrow. That completes the action for the opening day of the Gibraltar Darts Trophy. As we leave you with one optimistic fan asking for the flights 